Hello and welcome back to my channel. A couple of weeks ago, a rep from the company Troncy sent me an email asking if I'd like to try out a couple of their printers. Well, as I've mentioned in several of my earlier videos, I do love free stuff, especially when the free stuff helps to improve the types of projects that I'm able to bring to market. Speaking of that, I've received quite a few inquiries about the golf devices that I designed for Mark and showcased in my last video. I'll probably end up making a short run of these parts and see how it goes. To help me accomplish this, I'll be printing the TPU club adapters on the Crux One that Tronzi sent to me. I haven't had a whole pile of time with this printer, but so far I've had pretty good luck with it. I was sent the model with a magnetic build plate, which is working out pretty good and from what I understand increases the usable width of the build plate by a centimeter because it eliminates the need to use binder clips to hold everything in place. The printer comes mostly assembled and takes about a half an hour and 10 bolts to get up and running. All you need to do is square the Z-assembly to the base and attach the spool holder and handle. The printer comes with just enough sample PLA to print a calibration cube and one of the small figurines that comes preloaded on the included SD card. As you can see, they printed pretty decently with the stock settings. The TPU for the club adapters also printed pretty well and with good layer adhesion. The only thing I have to figure out is how to get rid of all the faceting that showed up using the stock slicer settings. Without any automatic bed leveling or initial layer height control, the Crux one kind of reminds me of my old MakerBot cupcake from back in the day. However, it does include a power recovery feature, which I got to try out when I was printing the small figurine. Unfortunately, about three quarters of the way through the print, the power of the shop blipped. When everything came back on, the printer started up in recovery mode and I was able to finish the print from where it had stopped. Eventually I'll put it on a UPS and I won't need to worry about that type of thing again. But until then, it's pretty cool to know that the power recovery feature actually works. So far it's been a pretty good small format, bare bones, entry level printer. There's a link in the video description if you're interested in picking up one for yourself. Also, if you're a member of the Missing Parts Club and you'd like to have me put together a set of golf gadgets for you, or you have an idea for some other gadget that would improve your situation, shoot me an email to forgeprosthetic-devices at gmail.com and we'll see if I can get something started for you. As always, please remember to like, subscribe, and share my videos. And if you have time, please leave a comment in the comment section to help me with the algorithm and getting my videos seen by more people. If everyone that watches my videos does this for me, it'll only be a matter of time before my work gets picked up and I'll be able to really make a difference for the missing parts crew. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Hey, that's enough.